Good morning, everyone. Uh, this has been an interesting night. I uh, got up this morning with that thing on right there. <clears throat> so I had to take and get my cooling out. Uh, got my little handy dandy little flashlight here. Um, hey. So I got my coolant here, and I need to put some coolant in there. I'm going to take and go ahead and turn on the light test while I'm out here. But uh, but I got to take and uh, put coolant in the truck here. Um, show you here why. I'm sitting at a rest area out here on the side. But um, my coolant level went down, so I'm gonna have to take and put coolant in the truck real quick. That's what I'm getting ready to do, and uh, go from there for today. Sorry about it being loud. I just fired the truck up. <sighs> take the cap off. Put it on the tire, take the cap off the coolant, put it on the tire. You don't have to worry about overflow. Just put the coolant in it. So this thing will shut up. But I just had the fan kick on on me. So, put about three quarters of a gallon of cooling in there in the truck. Everything else is running good. I'm gonna put the hood down. That should have solved the issue with the uh, with the dinger. I'm hoping. And it hasn't yet. It hasn't realized that it's got coolant in it. My coolant sensor went out a couple months ago. So I'm wondering if the coolant sensor is going out again. But I'm gonna go around real quick and do a do the light test. Uh, Pre-trip here. I'm like 70 miles away from the from where I gotta be. And I got three hours to get there, but I gotta go down to Washington D.C. and uh, all that good fun stuff. But when I when I'm walking around the truck, I'm checking the uh, fuel caps, make sure somebody didn't tamper with the truck anywhere. That I don't have any flat tires. <clears throat> Got to be careful because this here's a get on ramp, get off ramp for the um, rest area. I just kind of check the tires, make sure they're not flat. I've already done an extensive pre trip. Make sure that my lock is still on here, secure. And go ahead and open up my wings. So I shut them so they wouldn't get damaged last night. And then uh, just checking the the uh, check over, make sure everything's all right. <clears throat> and then we're gonna get on our merry way. Um, but that's uh that's Interstate 70 right over there, where we're at. And. Uh, all that good fun stuff. Let me turn this flashlight off. This is an O light. <clears throat> but, uh, fun stuff. Oh, see, now my uh, buzzer went off on the dash. That's good. So hopefully I can drive today without this thing driving me insane. 
This thing's a pain in the ass. Get back up here. All right, here we are. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start my day. Put on here. Been here for 10 hours and 19 minutes. I'm going to go change. On duty. Pre-trip. Okay, I got to do that for about, let's say, I'm going to probably do it for five minutes. Then I'm going to go over here to my other GPS, cancel this out. So that gives me an idea of how many miles that I drive for the day and all that good fun stuff. But uh, uh, this GPS here is telling me I'm, there's no delays in 14 miles, but I'm 74 miles away. I drove 445 miles yesterday, got to this rest area, and uh, should be there about 638. But I'm leaving early because I got an 8 o'clock appointment. And because of leaving early, because of being down here by uh, Washington, D.C., I want to make sure I got extra time to get to my location um, because it's the just got to take and deal with traffic and 8 o'clock in the morning and all that good fun stuff. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get me a, a glass of water and uh, wait for my five minutes to get up on my pre-trip and I'm going to get ready to roll. But uh, thanks for getting up with me this morning and uh, getting on the highway on uh, January 3rd, 2019. Um, hope you guys are appreciating these uh, little short videos of m different routines that I'm doing um, and all that good fun stuff. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And thanks.